hello guys my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to go ahead and start working with django crude application using ajax and in this one what we're going to be doing is going to be really easy we're going to be creating reading updating and deleting um like some like a student's dashboard and we're going to be doing all this asynchronously which means that we'll be deleting editing creating and listing out objects from database without refreshing the website okay so without any further ado let's go ahead and get started and if you want to see more videos like this make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing as it will mean the world to me okay guys so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a django project and in order to do that you want to open up cmd or you could either open up git cmd or powershell anyone is going to work in this case so from here as you can see i'm on the root directory and right now i'm on my desktop and how would you know i'm on the desktop if i say something like mkdir and i want to say django ajax django ajax crude and as you can see it's going to go ahead and create a folder over here on my desktop which means i'm on the desktop now we can we can go ahead and cd into this django ajax crude all you need to do is cd cd means change the directory then you want to drag this and drop it over here hit enter on your keyboard and as you can see we are now in that folder now in this folder this is where we're going to create the django project and in order to create the django project you simply want to say django dash admin and before you create the django project you want to make sure that you have django installed so we're going to say pip free so i'll show you guys all the whole packages that i have installed already and i think the there's a lot of packages so it's going to take a little bit of time for all the packages to load up okay and as you can see these are all the packages i've got on my pc and i'd highly recommend you use a virtual environment to you know um more protect your code based on this version you know there's a lot of videos that i've made on my channel about about virtual environments do make sure to check them out and it's highly recommended that you use them but since this project is the little one and i won't be actually making much use of this project that's why i'm just going to be building it out without using the virtual environment so as you can see over here i've got django 3.2.7 installed you want to make sure to install python then install django and you're going to be on the right path so i'm going to go ahead and clear this cls is going to clear the terminal and the next thing we want to say is django dash admin then want to say start project so start projects, we could call this whatever we want. Let's say I want to call it um, Django Ajax. Okay, I, I want to keep it, I want to keep it short. I'm just gonna say D A P R J. So Django Ajax project, just like that, D A P R J. So whenever I want to go to the project, it's gonna be easy. So I'm simply gonna say CD into D A P R J, just like that. And as you can see, we are in the project now. So if I opened up this folder, you can see that we will have some projects created over here now, the APRJ. And if you open this up, that's where we'll have the manage.py and the and the main projects where the URLs, the settings, the WSGI, and the init.py are sitting. So the next thing we need to do in here is go ahead and create an app. So I'm gonna say Python manage.py python manage.py and i'm going to create an app and we could call it whatever we want let's say we want to call it um okay we could just call it okay so as you can see i omitted the start app command so we need to put the start app before the base and the startup over here is simply going to create a new application that is called base okay so i'm going to go ahead and hit enter and for all this to work you want to make sure that you are in the daprj um directory for all this to work now when we come over to the django project and open up the daprj what do you notice now we have base and in this one that's where you're going to see the models the views and all that kind of stuff so i'm going to close this up and right now i think we are done with the with the terminal um you can either close this up because we've got terminal in our visual studio code or yeah you could just do whatever you want so i'm going to open this up in my visual studio code i'm just going to say code then space dot so this might work for you it might not work for you i've already configured it to open up visual studio code and open up the project automatically um you might want to go ahead and you know play around with this troubleshoot to see if it's going to work for you or not but hopefully it works for you now as you can see this open up visual studio code now so the first thing we could go ahead and start doing is uh you know create a model so i'm simply going to come over to base but before we create a model let's go ahead and run our server and make sure that everything is working on our browser over here okay so what i'm simply going to do is over here i'm going to open up terminal and i'm going to say new terminal so in this place this is where we'll be running our code take notes you can run your code here you can run a run your code here everything is going to work perfectly well so in here what we simply want to say is python manage.py and we're going to say run server and we should give this a couple of seconds you go ahead and run the server and as you can see it says you have 18 unapplied migrations blah blah blah, blah. we need to run migrate to apply them but at the absence of that if we come over here and try running 
our server what do you notice it says the install worked successfully and as you can see all this is working perfectly well now we need to get back here and uh, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna minimize this let me just drag this down till it's out of the way now we need to create a model and then I'll just create a model we're gonna be creating it in the base and in the models.py okay so in the models.py we're gonna be creating a very simple model students but before we do this actually I wanna go ahead and and configure the templates because that's actually what i usually do um whenever i'm starting a new series over here for you guys um so before we do this we're going to go ahead and configure the um the the settings.py firstly then configure the templates so i'm going to come over to the settings.py and over here i simply want to import os so we're going to be importing operating system that's going to be helping us map some things like the okay why is this showing that okay i think it's still loading now now in the allowed hosts we could just leave it like that and um in the installed app we want to add this base so you remember when we did python manage.py start app base we created a new app base over here and this new app base you want to make sure to install it in your settings.py or else django is not going to know that you created a new app so we're going to say install base just like that this is the easiest way to install it and uh, the next thing we could do is go ahead and configure our template so in here in the there's i'm simply going to say os the path dot join and what we want to join we want to join the base directory with a folder that's going to be called templates okay so this is the base directory this place over here this empty space over here that the manage.py the db sqlite the daprj and the base are sitting that's the base directory so what do you think we're going to do there we want to create a new folder over there called templates okay so i'm going to create a new folder called templates and in this templates that's where we're going to have things like the index.html that's going to be helping us with the front end and uh you know whatever template you need so now we've got template index.html i'm simply going to come over to my base and i'm going to open up views.py so i want to create a very simple view that's going to display that index.html i'm going to say define index yeah, you can call it whatever you want and i'm going to pass in request in there as usual request and um, we simply want to return render, return render, and we're going to pass in request in there too. And make sure this request is with a lowercase r. And um, we simply want to say index.html, just like that. And now we need to create urls.py. So create a new file, and we're going to call it urls.py. Now in this one, we need to import a couple of things. We're going to say from Django, we need to import, um, I think, we need to import URL and um, I think that's simply what we want to do and and we also want to import the view so I'm gonna say from base dot views we want to import the index that we created so what is this doing this is simply over here so this index that we created over here we are simply importing it in the URLs of PYC that we can use it so we can now say URL patterns just like this then in here we want to pass in parts and you know um, empty string denotes the home page so whatever you do is that is go is what's going to show up here hopefully you'll be taking some of my other courses on my youtube channel or else you won't know what all this actually does so i'm going to say view dot index and i'm going to simply give this a name and we're going to call it index or you could call it home page call it whatever you want okay i can actually get rid of those views because i say it from base dot views import index actually i don't want to do this i just want to say from base import views that's going to be um way more better because i don't want to have a lot of imports at the top over there so with that now we say views the index so what do you think is going to happen when we come over here and refresh nothing is going to happen or we might even get an error okay and that's because firstly i can see there is an error with this part over here let's take a good okay actually um what we want to do is come over to the settings.py and um what we are looking for is this urls.py over here so this is what we are looking for from Django, the URLs, we want to import parts. So that's what we are supposed to put over here. Okay. And now as you can see, that's fixed. Now in the URLs, the APRJ, we simply want to add um, another function here called include. Now what we simply want to do is include the new URLs, the PY that we created. So remember that's on the home page and um, that was called the URLs. Don't worry if you don't understand this, I'm still going to go ahead and explain. So we're going to say include and the name of the app is base and the name of the urls file is urls so we said include then we are including base then urls make sure not to add the extension or else it's not going to work okay so when we've done this i think that's pretty much what we want to do uh, let's look at the code again and make sure that everything is looking good before we go ahead and run it and you want to make sure that your server your terminal is still running uh, sorry your server is still running or else 
Yeah, nothing is going to happen. So Python managed the PY, run server, and she gave this a couple of seconds. You can see it's running port 8000. Now you come over here and refresh. And what do you notice? The template is working fine. And uh, to actually show you that it's working, we can come over here and just add in um, a H1, uh, H1 heading one, and we can say working. Or we can say student, student, okay, what am I doing? Student dashboard. Now we refresh. What do you notice student dashboard so it's working perfectly well now in the next one what we're going to do is simply go ahead and start working with the models the py and we're going to be listing out um all the all the students that we've got so that's going to be the the step one of this video and there's going to be a step two the one that we're going to be listing out everything take note the step one is going to be creating the step two is going to be listing the step two is going to be editing then the final step is going to be deleting so i don't want to make this video really long and bore you guys to death that's why i'm going to stop it over here hopefully you guys understood everything that went on here and the next one we're going to go ahead and start working with the models and creating a new user i hope i'll see you guys in the next video do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing okay and if you've got a couple dollars to spare do make sure to check out my youtube membership as low as a dollar is really 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 going to be appreciated and it's going to help me make free content for you guys i hope i'll see you in the next series do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing and also share this video to someone who you think might find it useful. And in the meantime, my love, peace out.